Ooh, I'm so excited to make another Notion video. I am a website designer and I use Notion to run almost everything in my business as well as most things in my personal life too. Everything from keeping track of all the tasks in my business and delegating things to my team to keeping notes for my accountant to planning my wedding a few years ago to writing in a weekly journal just to kind of keep track of what's going on in my life. Everything is in Notion. And while I absolutely love the platform, there's definitely a little bit of a learning curve to figuring out how to use Notion and especially the best way to organize it. If you're not careful, very quickly, you can end up with what feels like hundreds of different Notion pages in that left-hand sidebar and it gets overwhelming. I met with a friend for coffee today because I'm always getting coffee and we were talking about Notion and how they could use Notion in their own business and life. And while it was really fun, I could tell that they had played around with it a little bit and we're getting just overwhelmed by all the possibilities and all the ways to structure things. And so I thought I would make a video about how to create a super simple Notion dashboard, just so you can have everything easy to find in one place. This is the best way I found to make Notion more approachable. And here's what my dashboard looks like. Future Galen will edit this in later. This particular dashboard is nothing fancy. I actually have other dashboards that I use for like weekly tasks and managing my content calendar for YouTube and social media. This is just the hub in my Notion account where every everything lives so that all those pages don't just get lost in my sidebar. So even if you're a total Notion beginner, this is gonna be really easy for you. Speaking of Notion beginners, if you are new to Notion, I'm really excited for you and I highly recommend you check out my Notion templates. I'm going to include a link in the description below for you to go check it out. They are super affordable and really easy to get started with. I have a basic to-do list template and once you purchase that, you have the option to upgrade and get all of my templates, including my task templates, my client management templates, my project management templates, and everything is linked together. Like I said, I'll include a link below this video. Go check it out and let me know in the comments if you have any questions at all. Let's go over to my laptop and I will show you my process step-by-step. Step. Okay, so first things first, I am using a blank Notion account or a brand new Notion account for this tutorial. I just have too much stuff, personal stuff in my own Notion account that I'm not comfortable sharing. So we're gonna use this blank demo account as an example, but you'll get the gist of how we're doing this and will all make sense as we put it together. If this were your account, you likely have a ton of different pages in this private section or maybe even in this shared section. And like I said, this list can get really long and overwhelming quickly, and it's hard to navigate around and find the different pages that you're looking for. To create this basic dashboard or Notion hub, you're gonna come over to the private section and click on plus, and we are just going to add an empty page here. You can call this whatever you wanted to. For me personally, I call it my my admin dashboard and you can add in an icon of your choosing. You can even upload your own icon and then you can also add a cover photo here at the top. I usually like to pick something from Unsplash that's like a workspace or maybe a desk. Again, you can pick anything you want here that goes with your vibe, your life, your brand, whatever it is that you are creating this dashboard for. Now that we've got the basics of our dashboard set, we are going to start thinking about what different categories of pages we already have inside of our Notion account. And we're gonna create headings for those different categories. You're gonna hit forward slash here and we're gonna choose H3 or heading three and we are going to start typing in some of the categories. So for example, maybe the first one is personal. So we're gonna click these six little dots and we are then going to come down here to color and choose a color for this category. And if you wanted to, you could add emojis in here. So maybe you wanna put in an emoji on a Mac. The keyboard shortcut for emojis is command control space bar. And this is going to bring up the emoji dashboard here. And you're able to put in an emoji if you want to. We could also make it all caps if we wanted to. In this case, I'm gonna ditch the emojis, just keep it nice and simple all caps with a blue background. I'm then going to click these six little dots again and come to duplicate. You can also do the keyboard shortcut here, which is command D. And we're gonna duplicate this a few more times. Now I wanna create that two column look that I had in the example that I showed you. And this is really funny. This is actually one of the most common questions I get about Notion is how to take one block of content and drag it so that it sits next to another block of content, basically creating that two column look and feel. What we're gonna do is again, hover over the piece of content that we're trying to move. We're gonna click on these six dots and hold. 
and we are going to drag it up next to another piece of content. And we're not gonna let go yet. You're gonna see this little blue line sort of follows you around. It's either gonna go above, next to, or below. And in this case, we want it to go next to it. So we're gonna make sure that that blue line is showing up next to the piece of content where we want to drop this new piece of content. And once it's there, we're going to let go. And now we've created that two column layout and we're going to drag these other pieces here, these other headings under this two column layout as well. So you can see I'm dragging and I'm not gonna let go until I see the blue line showing me exactly where that heading is going to live. Now we've got a really nice two column layout with six different headings. They all say personal, so we are going to update these with other categories of pages that we have inside of our Notion account. So now I have updated these categories to better fit with a Notion dashboard that I might have in my own life and business. And next I'm gonna go in and just change the colors here so I can kind of color code each section. There we go, now they're all color coded. You can color them however you want to. This is the fun part though. You're gonna go over here to the left side of your screen and if the sidebar isn't already open, you are going to click these two little arrows here at the top to fully expand it. You're going to go into the private pages that are here on the left and each and every one you are going to drag and drop underneath one of these categories. Again, this is not my actual Notion account, so these are just random pages, but I'll show you what this would look like. You're just going to click on the page Page, and you are going to do what we talked about before where you're gonna drag and not let go until you see the blue line showing up exactly where you want that page to show up in your dashboard. Then you'll let go and you'll see it's moved out of your private list over here and onto this admin dashboard page. It's no longer a standalone page. It is now nested within this dashboard. Okay, to make this look a little bit better, I went ahead and created a bunch of sample pages and organized them all so you can see what a finished dashboard could look like. You're gonna notice that over here in the left-hand sidebar, we just have three pages left under private. We have an admin dashboard, which is the page that we're on. We have a 2024 vacation page and we have a goal tracker old page. And that's because as you're going through this process, you're probably going to find a bunch of pages that you used in the past. You don't necessarily wanna delete them, but you're not gonna be referencing them anytime soon. This is where the archive page comes in handy and I'm gonna show you how to set one of those up. So inside of your dashboard under the other category, or maybe you just have an archive category, I'm going to forward slash or hit the forward slash key, type in page, create a new page here. We're gonna call this archive and let's give it a folder emoji. Then we're gonna open up this brand new archive page that we created and we're gonna drag these in here just to get them out of our sidebar and keep them nice and organized. So now you can see we just have one page left in our sidebar here. It's just our admin dashboard and it makes things feel so much more manageable inside of our Notion account. When we click over to this admin dashboard, you're gonna see the archive page right here where you can access any of those pages that we've hidden away and you can easily click into any of the other pages that you wanna access on a regular basis. Now the last step that I recommend that you do is you click into your admin dashboard and up at the top right here, you hit this little star icon and it's going to bump up the admin dashboards page to your favorites. That way you can minimize shared and private just by clicking on the headings here and have a really nice clean favorite section at the top. You can even go through any of the other pages that you are using on a regular basis and star these as well. And then I always like to drag the admin dashboard at the top here. So that way, again, you've got all your favorites in one place and your admin dashboard is where you're going to go if you're looking for any of the main pages that you are trying to get into. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below what other questions do you have about Notion? How do you use Notion in your personal life and business? I would love to hear from you and I would love to create more tutorials like this one in the future with your feedback. And if you're a business owner and DIY isn't your thing and you need some help setting up systems behind the scenes, head over to my website, fill out my contact form and get in touch. I would love to chat with you and see if we might be a good fit working together. Thanks again so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.